Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to the next episode of Journey to Level Cap. We're here with Grusha the Goblin. Grusha the Goblin. He's, uh, I, I guess, going to give us some information. We're, out, we're standing in the uh, goblin fields out here. There's goblins everywhere. Look how nice it looks. I don't know why Emma and Eileen are on us in the goblin field. I guess it's fine. I love how they're just like walking around and chilling. Uh. If you knew doesn't exist anymore, our <laughs> race has been reborn entirely. It's not like other static MMOs where everyone is walking around the same stance and the same style, doing the same exact thing. The old chief who used to dance the in front of the bonfire is now buried beneath <laughs> the fields of Agris. A young, giant, and mighty chief has taken his place and now now leads us goblins to the great battlefield. The battlefield. What are you ladies doing here in the perilous goblins forest? I myself have come here to inform the scout Grusha about- Okay, Tacros. Head of the Goblin Infiltration Task Force, Grusha North. According to foreign agreement, your job as a scout has been terminated. I'm sure you're well aware that the goblins turning vicious and aggressive is causing quite a setback in trade relations with Serendia. The Chief and Grand Chamberlain have already come to an agreement. You have no other choice than to follow their orders. What the you? That's because the imps attacked our goblin base! You're still acting as the goblin's mouthpiece, eh? Understand that Belia has no further plans to coexist with the goblins. Yes, I mean, um, goblins didn't do anything wrong. Please, I beg you, give me another chance. If you only let me speak with them. Another chance? Does Velia come first or do goblins? You're relieved of your post, and you'll serve probation from your own home. Damn, probation. Another chance? Abandon coexist with goblins. Or let's talk about this. So either we go to war with the goblins or we try to figure out their plight. We help Grusha, we'll help the goblins. If we go along with Takros' plan, then we'll be at war with the goblins and the imps since the imps. Apparently the imps are the, why the goblins are freaking out. So if we help Takros, then that means we'll be we'll still have to face the imps. So we're gonna help Rusha. I spent a day mm. finding out what the goblins are up to. Be wary of goblin fighters. They attack relentlessly. Well, who have we here? The hero who defeated Red Nose. Did you say you want to meet Grusha and the Goblin King Giaf? Yeah, that, that's yeah. We're more than glad to have someone as skilled as you do us a favor. But are you sure that you'll be fine with someone like him? You'll have to finish the job oh, quick before we start the attack. I'm looking forward to seeing the skills of one who could take down Red Nose. All right, let's see. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for protecting us goblins. Goblins are kind. But I don't know where the chief is either yet. Let's ask friends. They'll surely help. Okay, you, you ask them. Then. We must go through a ritual before we do, or else my friends won't let you step foot near them. If you gain an understanding of our tradition as you destroy those totems, goblins will accept you as their friend. Oh, we have to gain knowledge. <laughs> Look at how many of them there are. I know this is supposed to be like a Korean swordsman, but I want to change him like to something completely different. I want to change him to like more of a French like uh, knight, like a European style knight, like uh, with this outfit, and then wait for like a European type uh, like claymore sword or something. Kind of cool, right? So I have one on uh, order because I'm Toto really cheap. And my other goblin friends, T Toto. This person stood against the Velia vigilantes. He says thanks for protecting our forest and that the king is within the goblin cave, but he is also not. Okay, so is he or is he not? Toto, what do you mean? 
You want me to look at the mural behind us? Was it redrawn? Us goblins are a race that have called Balanos home for some time now. Just like the people of Velia. Well, that was before that violent, red-nosed imp exiled us. That's why the old chief would offer up prayers to the ancestors every day. He prayed for youth and the power to protect his race. One day, a man wrapped in black robes approached him. The man didn't stay long but imparted a black-coloured stone unto the chief. Shortly after, the aged, feeble chief passed from this world, after Siren, the new king. Hmm. That stone might have been poison given to the aged chief to give up his own life. <coughs> hey, he wants you to follow him. We're following a goblin? <laughs> Throw that rock. Don't do it. Ooh, we already are summoning our uh, smoke guys. Pretty cool. This is a cave that honorary goblins like I cannot enter. Only pure-blooded Gaia goblins can enter. <laughs> Toto says that he'll support us. However, he also says that you'll have to fight against the Gaia Goblins. The Goblins are more vicious towards outsiders than ever. Do you think you can do this? I think we can do this. Vellum slash. Yangi! <laughs> A human commander's body has become the vessel that hosts our king! <laughs> you only see a giant ram skull hanging and not even a glimpse of the king, so there's no king. But our king still bears the name of he. Oh, mighty king! Please protect us, goblins! Please restore our peace! That must mean this stone grave actually contains... Doesn't matter. It's all for the benefit of goblins! Lend us strength! Did Gieth use the power of the Blackstone to possess the mortal shell of some long-dead warrior? It appears that Gieth's original body has been laid to rest in this grave. Now they're hiding in some bushes. Kinda cute. <laughs> uh, I I'm sorry. I know this place is dangerous, but Curiosity killed the cat, right? Yes. I, I mean, oh. Look, lack energy erupted <clears throat> from the cave you exited from and formed this illusion on the rock. I've seen this symbol in one of my father's books. It's a mark indicating the Goblin King is hiding in a dark rift. A dark rift. What brings you ladies here to such a dangerous place? <laughs> I thought I might find something useful, so we paid a visit to my grandfather's study. The goblins stole the book we, uh, uh borrowed while we were looking for you. My lady. All goblins know that boiling letters in a cauldron will make you smarter. Boiling letters in a cauldron? I will take the ladies to Finto Farm, where it's safe. Find Lady Emma's book. You must look for a giant cauldron. I will take the lady. Look for cauldrons? Oh, we got it. I knew I could trust you. Hmm. Now, let's read the book to find out whose body Gith actually inhabited. Oh, here it is. Croxus Antonio. God Captain from Noir the Third in Eleonian year 135 forfeited his life when he dared to admonish his king for attempting to sacrifice a young maiden and child to attain immortality. Oh. The immortal alchemist said the ritual must go on, and the enraged king had Croxus executed, and his remains scattered over Awas Hill. So this was happening. He was killing maiden and children. The one who led me to that sin-laden castle. He met such a tragic end to lose his own flesh as well. He must have appeared in my dreams for a reason. Is there any way we can summon Gieth from the Dark Rift? There must be a way, Lady Emma. But first, you must eat. Your grandfather would have me hanged if I'd let you pass out. <laughs> we shall ask Martina, the farm owner, for some food. Martina, okay. What up, Martina girl? You like this horse? I'd be more than happy to whip you up a meal. Nothing comes for free now, does it? I mean, 
I know of a few things that are free. Boy, if you don't get the farm wasn't always looking a mess like this. You can thank the goblins for that. Alright, Tacros. Oh, we have to get potatoes from the field. I'll be more than happy to handle the cooking. Eileen, be a dear and scrounge up some potatoes from the field, and your company can get the chicken porridge started. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure if we've got any hearty potatoes left. Not the first time goblins have made a mess of our field. That earthy aroma. Oh, it reminds me of my grandmother's steamed potatoes. That didn't take too long, right? <laughs> I have good senses. The goblins be fucking up her potatoes. All right, now we gotta cook something. Cook some potatoes and some meats, some dried chickens, diced chickens. Look at all those chickens. I see all sorts sorts of herbs and stuff. I like it. All right, we're done. Oh, now we need. We're just gonna eat it alone. We'll eat it in front of Martina. She looks particularly hungry. Mmm, mmm. You like that, Martina? You hungry? Mmm, mmm. Well. That's too bad. Good. Now that our stomachs are full, let's try putting our heads together. Geath chose a body that's been dead for quite some time. According to what I know of nature, the body should have decomposed already. So how do you think he got around that? Oh, that reminds me of something Father taught me last week in class. It was something on alchemy used to trap time. I remember it because I really struggled with the reagents. Florence said something like, Lean, what good's a head if you don't even use it? Then she said, did she say? Eileen, uh, you're so stupid you'd flip over an hourglass to check the time. Oh, what? Sands of time! Using Papa's special recipe. Papa! It's possible to restore the flow of time where it's been halted. Ah, uh, but it's difficult to get the materials. Only black stones of a purity of at least 73% will work. Papa brought some such stones to class last week, but I think, uh, I used them all up. <laughs> <laughs> Call me surprised. I should have brought Florence along. She would have come up with another plan, surely. I'm sorry. I'm not Florence. <laughs> I think you're crossing the line here, Tacros. <laughs> My grandfather will hear of your behavior. Ooh. I mean, don't give up. There is always a way. We will find it together. Well, I, I, I suppose certain ingredients can be substituted, but we need a... An object one would sacrifice their life for. A goblin's horn should do that, I imagine. Can't understand why the bastards are so obsessed with uh, 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 Here, over here! Jesus, Tagros. Pissing off the women's. I have a black stone! Uh, um, uh, it once belonged to the old chief. Singular mind, eh? You keep mum until we start on about goblins. That black stone is better put to use elsewhere. Right now, we have a better tool at our disposal. The goblins themselves. Uh, that sounds kind of fucked up, Tacker. Quiet! I can't think! I'm becoming potato brain standing in all these potatoes. What's your gut to tell you, adventurer? I'll follow your lead. Let's go the Grusha route and help, I don't know, find peace for his goblins or something. We're gonna find peace by killing them, he wants. That's what it says. <laughs> Thank you. You won't regret putting your faith in me, sparing the lives of my friends. I'm forever in your debt. It's not that I can't understand where Takros is coming from. One of the Medean deserters that was stationed at Kron Castle. When Giyaf, a king, assaulted Kron Castle, many lives were lost. No doubt the loss of his comrades, his captain, contributed to his desertion. Though Takros may feel Chief Igor helped put that behind him when he settled in Velia, he still holds that anger. Don't allow him to stoke that hatred. Use the stone for something good. Okay, so what are we going to use the stone for? I finally put my alchemical training to use. Oh, is anyone else feeling faint? No, it, it's okay, I'm fine. Ah, shall we start the process of creating the sands of time? Yes. Now, please fetch me the first ingredient. I require fresh blood of a weasel. Fortunately, there are plenty of weasels around the farm. And I've even brought my best friend along. This book may look a bit worn out, but she's full of knowledge. Without her, I'd never pass an alchemy exam. All right, we're syringing out the blood. Next, we'd need a shimmering wildflower, sometimes found blooming in Awal's plains. A shimmering wildflower. It goes that the shimmering lights from these wildflowers are the very souls of innocent children who Oof. sacrificed in the foolish King Noir's search for eternal life. That's terrible. Let's go hunt out a decent spot to brew up our concoction, Takros. 
Can we trust you to protect us without riling up any more goblins? Thank goodness we have Grusha's Blackstone. Just me. Or are things going smoother than expected? So weird, I can't hear the sound effects from my horse, I don't know why. A flower bearing the tragic tale of the souls of the children who were sacrificed for the Kron King's vain dream of eternal life. That's messed up, man. Why would you do that to the kids? Why would you do it? Oh, you got here quickly, and just in time. Ta-da! I managed to put together a makeshift magic cauldron. Don't look at me like that. It actually took a lot of ingenuity to put that together. Okay, I'm, I'm not hating. Serena, don't be hating! All right. Now, if we perform some simple alchemy with these ingredients, we should obtain something known as the Fragments of Time. Fragments of Time. Oh, look at the color of the smoke. Uh, I think that means you were successful. I mean, none of my past attempts produced such a color, so that's good. Oof. And take those, place them inside the pot, and you will be able to create the Sands of Time. Okay, she needs to lighten up on herself. <gasps> Stop being such a hater. Oh, I can't believe it. It, it. it worked. Oh, let me take a look at that. Hmm. The Sands of Time. Oh, we did it! Hooray! If only Father would put this recipe on my next test. It's the moment of truth. I shall call for my men. It's time we finally reveal the fiend behind the mask. Finally, I shall meet with the one I've seen only in my dreams. This doesn't feel right. Pray, be careful, adventurer. Okay. Sprinkle this on the goblin mural atop Awas Hill, and you'll be able to summon forth gear from the Dark Rift. Oh, uh, that's not my horse. Leave him over there for now. Scatter the sands of time on top of this mural, and apparently it's busting with dark energy now. Here comes Geath, I think. Holy crap. Bruh, Geath trip, bruh. Jesus. Look at our stance. We don't have any weapons, though. I mean, is this? I don't remember seeing this. I just don't. Combat is so good on this guy. Oh, we just teleported on him. That was sick. Oh no. No, I'm sorry. Oh, he disappeared? Okay, okay, I'm not sorry. I oh, know he's back. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Oh crap. He turned into Slenderman. Got him! Tacros probably should have already arrived in Velia by now. Goodness, adventurer! Whatever are you? It was you, Gia, the one who pushed me towards Kron Castle in my dreams. Uh, Emma, be careful, okay? Alright, adventurer. I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> adventurer, I wish to speak with him. I need the power and wisdom to protect my people. It seems that I still lack both. I need more black stones. The Black Stones granted me the gift of this flesh. At the same time, so too began this dreadful nightmare of Kron. He spoke to me. 
If I wished for the nightmares to end, all I needed to do was but destroy the relic atop the spire at Kron Castle. Atop the spires at Kron Castle. Are you speaking of the man clad in black robes? Was he the one who gave you the black stone? You seem to know a lot more than I thought. As he instructed me, I advanced toward Grom Castle, bringing destruction to all I laid eyes upon. And yet, at the Spire, I encountered one who could not be killed. This body I inhabit froze at first sight. You too have been dreaming the same nightmares as I. What did you find at the Spire? It burns. It overwhelms me once more. Soon. This body shall no longer be able to reside in this world. By the time I return, I shall be caught in the abyss, maddened by a pain that only my flesh shall remain, crying out. If only someone would remember that I shall protect my poor tribe forever. Gia, wait! Oh, he's gone. I'm speechless. Did you end up losing that fiend? We should have joined forces to exterminate him and the rest of the goblins for good. He is gone for good, so you can rest easy. So, uh, do you perhaps know who's guarding the relic within Kron Castle? And where'd you hear something like that? That kind of knowledge shouldn't be tossed around so casually. It doesn't matter. It's really the time for that right now. now. You're resident of Velia now, Takros. Don't you think it's your civic duty to tell us? Understood. I shall tell you of all that I know. None of this is news to the chief anyway. The reason the Median deserters could stay in those ruins, well fed, well supplied, is due to aid from an outside benefactor. Not a clue who. They only dealt directly with our leader. Mmm, outside benefactor. <laughs> Sounds wealthy and powerful. Oh, any chance he's got a baby face too? What? What's wrong with him? I not sure. In exchange for their constant support, they had only one condition for us to protect the Spire's entrance at any cost. We were also instructed to never open the entrance. Didn't stop a few fellows whose curiosity was greater than their sense. What happened to them? They died. Milady, you're not thinking of going there now, are you? We must head to Kron Castle. Adventurer, I believe this is the most opportune time with you by our side. Yes, ma'am. I see there's no changing your mind. Though I'd ask, if all goes well, that you put in a good word for me with the Chief. With our current numbers, a full frontal assault would be suicide. We need to go in with a small team to infiltrate enemy lines. Once inside, You'll find a man named Beetle hiding out in exile. He's the only fool still alive who's tried to open those gates. He too seems interested in getting out, settling down in Belly. With enough persuasion, I imagine he'd offer his full cooperation. I'll remain here okay, and keep well. an eye out for Geath if he ever returns. I entrust these ladies in your care. If I ever get a promotion, drinks are on me. Okay. I, I don't want to drink with you, Akros. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Just need to get on my horse here. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'll call you. Don't call me. Who's over there? Someone hiding over there. What are you doing? Ah! Oh. Ah. Elyon's balls. Who do you think you are sneaking up on me like that? Piss myself. Eh? Come again? You want me to sneak you into the castle? You'll get me Velian citizenship. Is that right? You aiming to do that? Yes. Hurry up. Do it now. Go. Now. Going alone would be a feat in itself. Or getting the lot of you in? Forget it. Hello there. I I'm Eileen. I beg you reconsider. We really can keep our word. Uh, this girl? Right here? Her grandfather's the chief of Velia. And rumor has it that you'd like to start a new life in town, so... Uh... Oh, so she is. The stone-faced wench herself. Oof. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just poured right out of me, that did. Apologies. The reason we've been stationed here for so long was due to our dealings with some outsiders. Not sure which merchant guild they hail from, but they kept us well equipped and well fed with a steady stream of supplies. We say we're here to inspect the supplies they'll let us through. We shout the passphrase, black or red, reply, silver. Thinking our silver. adventure here would be a dead giveaway. Play the part of a merchant, best let the ladies handle it. So what, is this up to Eileen now? I hope not, better not be. Moving, I'll shoot! Huh? Oh shit. Black or red? What? Uh, what? Uh, she said what? Shoot her. She, shoot her. Um, shoot her. Silver? Come on. Oh, she said the right answer. What kind of response is that? Right. 
Ah, as soon as she her. said She's what, new. I would have shot her. She should have. They should have shot her. It's like you guys are having a hard day, yeah? Shit like this just makes it harder. Move along. Let's go then. <sighs> what an idiot. Another inspection, eh? What an idiot, Eileen. Two a day. Well, it's like we say. Any merchant worth their spice always measures storage thrice. Hold up! I recognize that ugly mug. Beetle! What are you doing showing your face here? God! Anyone? Okay, nice. <laughs> look how big our sword is. It's so sick. I didn't it didn't look that big in the previews. No, no, not yet anyway. My sister's the one to call on for that. Why? Are you all struggling with nightmares too? Maybe you're Please, awake. You must tell us. Maybe your succession is like a the small sword or something. I don't know. Oh, that was close. I'll hand it to you, you're more capable than you look. And it brought you on this gaggle of classy lasses to such a dangerous place as this. We're here to examine the ruins of Kron Castle Spire. No need to be alarmed. A binder Tapos ring. Even though it is the first time I'm physically here, it's somewhat unnerving. I've seen this place so many times in my nightmares. It all seems so familiar. Does your ladyship have such horrid dreams too? She must be. Are you the expert who's traveled the world studying specters? No. A an expert? <laughs> no. No, not yet anyway. My sister's the one to call on for that. Why? Are you all struggling with nightmares too? No, please, you must tell us. Yes, we are. It wasn't as bad as this before, but they've become far more frequent these days. The vengeful souls of this castle torment me in my dreams, especially those gathered in the well over there. What? Oops. What do you mean you want to go there? Just look, it's practically swarming with soldiers. Is this well really so important? What are you going to do? Set the whole place on fire, then just waltz in for a chat with some goats? Is that the plan? <laughs> Oh, that's given me an idea. Yeah, adventurer. Take this. Remembering hat. You recognize it, don't you? No. This is the journal Richie recovered from the Bartelli Ossuary. The one from the Kron period. Oh, okay. It all said, let's play with fire. Set a tent alight to create chaos among the soldiers. Then burn this book over the well. Igniting the reagent should manifest the spirits. But, oh, such a waste. Such a precious reagent wasted on this. Oh, there go my plans for conjuring a hunky specter on a lonely evening. Boy. Oh, if you don't. <laughs> oh, that's given me an idea. Here, adventurer, take this. Remembering Hannah. This woman just can't control herself. Oh, we've been detected. Oh crap. Oh my God, he teleported me. Whoa, I, we just blocked something? A, a ranged projectile? Someone's projectiling at us? This horse is just f free on its own. Oh, he called it. Okay. Oh, he, he saw us again. Oh, not good. Oh, no. Let's go behind this guy. What? <laughs> what the hell? The well that was poisoned during the reign of Nor the Third has been stopped up. You persevered alone to rear your child, only for the king to steal him away, falling victim to an aged fool's selfish ambitions to seek eternal life. The world came crashing down, but I shall remember Hannah forever. Even as I clean the nursing bottle, she couldn't heat up for the final time. Was it due to the vengeful aura which smothers this castle? The journal itself remained intact, but all the letters within were burned away. As the letters recording the unerasable chapter of the castle's history vanished in a flame, the vengeful souls of the Kron castle slowly manifested around the well. Oh, not good. His descendant has finally deigned to step foot here. The sinful legacy of her forbearers courses through her veins. We cried out incessantly, for how could we remain silent? Yet to have our cries reach only the ears of the loathsome royal line. A cruel fate indeed. For why did we cry? Our children held captive is why. Trapped within the spire, beaten by chilling winds, guarded by the king's mighty knight. Oh. Do you yet wonder why we still cling to this realm? Would a mother, 
A father abandon their own child? That knight was formerly the guard captain of Noir III. It is said his martial prowess was only surpassed by his loyalty to his king. This sacrifice robbed him of his flesh, and when the deed was done, he was reborn as the frightful Phantom Knight. Charged with guarding this place eternally. Somewhere in the castle is the scroll of the alchemist. That scroll should allow you to call forth the Phantom Knight. Ooh, okay. I beseech thee, smite down the Phantom Knight and set our children free. I wish to feel my children in my arms one last time. <laughs> You're dead, though. You know, you realize. Who are you talking to? Ghosts? Actual ghosts? Look, I should let you know, I'm allergic to paranormal activity. You need to know how to find a scroll belonging to the ancient alchemist. I keep a mental log of every text I see. Do I look like a librarian? He said I'm allergic to paranormal activity. I believe there was a special task force assigned to guarding important documents. Problem is, this unit headed by Commander Randall is always changing location. Don't worry though, it's not hard to get our hands on the info we need. All we need is a document showing where personnel are stationed. Let's nab it off a rookie over there. Okay. A rookie. Oh my god. <laughs> he just got annihilated. That was rough. Why am I not fighting alongside you? Are you so heartless, adventurer? Practically yesterday I was breaking bread with these guys. Killing them would feel... crummy. Let's have a look here. Hey, careful! It's a long way down and I've got a feeling all the king's horses and men aren't interested in putting me back together again. I guess we're holding him, like, over the edge to threatening to drop him. That's what that's supposed to be. Looks like. Ha! Huh, they're at that spire! We can get there by climbing this ladder. What? This is all that's left of Commander Randall's unit? I'd recommend keeping your guard up. It could still be a trap. Ch 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 Ooh, sick. How is this ladder so long? God damn it. <laughs> I guess we're just so slow. We're about to run out of stamina. What? <laughs> no, no. It was only thanks to your heroic distraction that I could get here first. Don't get that out of shape about it. Take a look at this flower pot. Pretty suspicious, eh? Take a look at this flower pot. An average looking flower pot. Digging through the dirt in the flower pot, you discover a silver key. There should be something in that area that you can open this key with. Oh, brilliant! From what I can make of this map, there might be something down there. Aha! Next to the door. That box. Do you see it? Do. I had my doubts about the success of this mission. We should head over there next. Up the ladder to our exit. Wait, someone's here looking for us? Behind me? Such intense rage, I think it wants to speak with you. What's behind us? Oh crap. The Phantom Knight is a solitary force serving only Noir the Third. Oh crap. It's folly to think reading off a scroll alone would summon it at your whim. The ruins of that spire you're attempting to approach was raised here by none other than the immortal alchemist himself. Caphris. He swayed the king with promises of immortality, but unfortunately for the king, Caphris' true intentions laid elsewhere. Bringing the evil god Hadoom into this world required the most evil of acts, the ritual sacrifice of pure and innocent lives. It is fortunate that the ritual ended in failure. But the power that lingers in these ruins of pure black stones remains strong. So messed up, man, this guy. The trapped within are bound here, waiting for one who can free them of the chains that eternally bind them. My name is Croxis of Wales, proud knight of Kron. I dared speak out before the king, and for that, I was executed. The reason Gear froze at the sight of the Phantom Knight is because my flesh was imprisoned by his hands. I too have waited a long time for this. For you who shall break the chains of vengeance. Okay, we're gonna break the chains of vengeance. Somehow. What's gonna happen? You stop so abruptly. The ladies are waiting. Hurry and climb the ladder. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Adventures first. 
Adventurers first. Whatever, beetle. Adventurer, we were worried that you had suffered some kind of accident. Do you know how many years I've stood guard here? <laughs> I could climb the castle with my eyes closed. Wow, that's impressive, I guess. But why were you kicked out again? After all I've done, you're not thinking of leaving me behind, are you? I mean, honestly speaking, our whole situation didn't sit right with me. What situation? We're all suffering from ghostly nightmares at night while being bloodied and bruised from brawling with goblins during the day. All for the sake of protecting some tiny piece of land with some rundown ruins. What are we putting our lives at stake for? A man's life is precious to him. In it, I felt I'd earned a bonus of sorts. Just so happened the men who caught me pilfering in the captain's room didn't agree. You happy now? Let's go free the captain's room. To the room. chamber of secrets over yon. The chamber of secrets. Where is it? This way? The chamber of secrets. A dead quiet chamber. There is a strange looking ancient device past the door. We can relax a bit now. Spire is right above us. Everyone's too afraid of the phantom knight's curse to approach here anyway. Huh? What is that chest you've been lugging around? And that scroll? Hafris's own handwriting! Summon forth the phantom knight, you say? Oh, let me see that. <gasps> oh, I'm doomed for horror, Kahaliak. This can't be. This scroll bears the orders of Hadoom, the god of darkness. The words on the scroll mean nothing if the king isn't the one to speak them. The Phantom Knight only heeds his call. And he's been gone for ages. His kingdom in ruin, and even the kingdom that came after, all trace of him gone. The dreams I've dreamt thus far can't be mere coincidence. The blood that flows in my veins may rouse the night to my call. Uh, hold on. You're not some legendary adventurer like your grandpa or your great-uncle Lancelot. Are you sure this will work? Coincidence and fate are two sides of the same coin. As grandfather likes to say when he's on a hot streak in Yar. Eileen, stand at the altar and read aloud the scroll's incantation. Then I, bearer of royal blood, shall call upon the Phantom Knight. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh, oh. As for your role, adventurer, please take down the Phantom Knight. Whoa, really? <sighs> what if I don't want to? <laughs> do you think I can do this? What if I can't do it? Pledging sword to something greater. O oh, knight who's pledged unyielding devotion to the wrong. I, a Bartali, summon thee by thine oath. Hatum Vora, Kaheliak. Oh God. She's summoning with blood. Blood summons. We got a blood summoner. Oh shit. Hey man. Whoa. Hey. hey bro. We just want to talk. May you live forever. Whoa, we just want to talk, bro. Just want to talk. Where'd he go? Oh crap. Oh, I don't think he wants to talk. Same. Oh, we blocked them. Find out. What's he doing now? Oh, crap. 
crap. Oh my god. That movement is insane. Gotcha. The door to the spire has finally opened. Look there! Oh, my word! A relic of Kafra's lies right before my eyes! Oh, never thought I'd beat Clorins to such a sight. No time to stand gawking. Hurry! To the spire with you! Take the ladies. Me? <laughs> uh, the remaining deserters may have been alerted by now. So I'll stay here and stand watch. Quickly now! Understood. All right, you say so. Let us ascend this tragic spire. Can you calm down with all the dramatics? Theatrics? Why is this guy alive again? Oh, someone else is fighting him. Sorry, bro. I had to fight him by myself. I don't mean to sound bitter, but I kind of am. with the immortal alchemist Kafras. The poor souls that befell their wicked plot called out to me. Now has finally come the time to bring peace to their endless suffering. Go on. He's just, uh, so our black spirit just sucked up the power from this box or whatever. Oh my word, it's beautiful. I don't trust that guy, I'm, I'm telling sorry. you. I pray you find peace. This is the true power of the black stones. Oh, we got a helmet, I think. We got some stuff. The relic was used in a ritual around 150 years ago, where Kafras, the immortal alchemist, summoned the evil god Hadoom. A single ray of light flows forth from the cracks of the relic. Oh, what is this light? Hmm. I don't sense any sadness, but rather warmth. Mm. Like home. Except without Florence. Could it be the stories left by the freed souls? Their sentiments of gratitude for not forgetting about them. This light must be a gift for all of us. I believe it's time we return back to our ordinary lives. <laughs> and suddenly, an impressive display of fireworks. Then someone along and went pow right in his big red nose. Huh, <laughs> that was us. Papa, don't forget my present. Of course Papa. Not. <laughs> oh my god. Listen to your mother now, you hear? I shall return with a high dell cocktail dress for my little princess. 
Finally, some room to breathe. Onwards, to Heidel! Oh, if I can get ya, I've still got a chance. About as much chance as catching Red Nose locking lips with Kiev. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they do say no news is good news. That was not funny. Uh, what? Darling! Oh, we got some stuff. Okay. Another helmet. Season shoes. Okay. Why, hello there, adventurer. Oh, such nice weather. If only an adventurer would come buy up all my wares so I can close early. Do I look like I have buy up all your wares money? <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I was just about to close up shop anyway. Been a while since Emma returned to Velia. Wonder where she could be. Shall we look for her by the old wharf? Uh, okay. Emma always enjoyed the sea breeze while staring off into the distance. The old wharf. Wow, where's Aureen's back at Cron Castle? I mean, Lumi's back at Cron Castle. God damn it! It's Emma. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> hey, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? Uh, nothing. Adventurer, thanks again. Because of you, I was able to wash away some of my ancestral sins. So here you are. Our house has waited a long time for this moment. For the breaker of chains who freed those souls. I misjudged you as little more than a greenhorn playing an adventurer. And I thought I'd found the perfect partner in tomfoolery. <laughs> I never would have guessed you to be the one to save our village. I'm sorry, Igor. This doesn't seem fishy to you. That man who gave the black stones to Red Nose and Giev. Oh, come on, Doc. The foul mood has finally been chased from Velia. And besides, this poor adventurer must be starving by now. <laughs> right, I mean, Emma? That's pretty mm -hmm. pretty much right. That's right, Emma. Yep. Mm -hmm. Adventurer, if it's all right with you, it would be our honor to treat you to a simple meal. Alright, well, get in the kitchen. Get in the kitchen, Emma. Where you at? Chop, chop. Chop, chop, Emma. That's, uh, not quite yet. Chief, could you entertain the adventurer for a bit? Eileen and I will run ahead to prepare. Take your time, but don't be too late. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen my dear Emma smile like that. Thank you for shining a ray of sunlight upon House Bartali. No problem, old man. While <laughs> the girls are preparing the meal, would you mind paying Lorenzo Murray, the stable keeper in the southern part of the village, a visit? The villagers have prepared a small token of their appreciation for you. Also, there's an important guest who's come all the way here to find you. Ah, huh. I do believe Ooh. I've taken enough of your time. You should head off now. Have a lovely time with the girls. Okay. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Don't forget, Velia is always open to you. Rednose, Geath, and now some Phantom Knight. You're building quite the reputation. I've even heard the title Breaker of Chains. Lady Jurette Domingat of Great Serendia, long may she reign, has made the long journey here to extend an invitation to you to Heidel. Back then, when you said you were Eden Stooge, that was a lie, am I right? Someone of your caliber would never stoop so low as to work beneath that ruffian. Jesus, Jurette's out here being chillin'. Look at her with her freaking golden emblazoned and freaking gilded armor. Just chillin' in the courtyard having tea with the freaking royal escorts. Anyway, thanks to your efforts, 
the goblin threat has been greatly diminished, and trade between Serendia and Velia has been reopened. You've also caught the eye of Grand Chamberlain Jordine Ducasse, who's extended an official invitation to you as well. Who's also your fiance? Let's pack your things and prepare for the journey to Hydell. Don't make us wait too long now. Let us take our leave, Roig. Yes, my lady. We shall depart immediately. Now you. The Grand Chamberlain is a busy man. Don't forget, if you dally too long, you would be losing one of the greatest opportunities of your life. What's on this table? Looks like fruit and cheese and wine. I thought someone was in big trouble. To have Princess Jurat of Serendia come to my stable of all places. There's a lunchbox that Lady Island put together here. Bit of carrots from Lagia Farm there. Buster's snacks all over the... Yeesh. Anywho... The chief prepared a few things here and there. Ooh, look at all the Trusty food. horse is crucial if you wish to head all the way over to High Dell. See you again sometime in the near future. Oh, they gave us a horse. And I were to head over to Oak. And they called to me. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, adventurer, you've arrived. You must be starving. Yes, women it's folk. Much, but we've I am what we star. As best we could. Oh, we're just smashing it. We're everywhere. We're well, ev well, look who it is. <laughs> Personal guest of Grand Chamberlain Jordine himself. Oh my! Are you leaving for Hydell? My goodness! I hear all the men there are gorgeous. I'm so jealous. I guess Velia pales in comparison. Well, mm. Velia is homely enough for me. <laughs> homely. Homely. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's pretty funny. Whew. Oh, I'm stuffed. Your cooking is the best, Emma. Well, I'm off to take a nap. I hope the food was to your liking, adventurer. I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I'm not sure if it was my best. Maybe when you return from Hydell, I could prepare another meal for you properly this time. Hydellians always say, time is like wine. Waste, not a drop. Best not to keep the Grand Chamberlain waiting. Okay. And remember... When you're in Velia, you shop at Eileen's. If I catch you around Clorence's store, well, uh, I'd be absolutely heartbroken. <laughs> Whatever became of that confused man goblin, Grusha. If only he hadn't used his black stones to make the sands of time, we could have claimed its power for our own. Don't be so selfless next time. It's really not a good look on us. We come first. Anyway, it's time for us to leave now. We're off to Heidel, the capital of Serendia. I'm sure more fun awaits us there. And that's the end of Balanos. That's the end of Balanos. Nice. Oh, it's our new armor. Any other armor? Yep. Okay. Now we're just cruising. This game has the nicest environment, I think. Of like almost any MMO, this is like the nicest environment. And it's also believable. Oh, we gotta get off our mount again. It's really interesting and like the lore is pretty thick as well. If you can understand Deliver it. Deliver this directly to Lady Emma. She need know the truth of her grandfather. Despite his aloof demeanor, there's none in all the land who cares for her quite like he does. Infiltrate in the forest in that preposterous goblin getter. All at the command of the chief for her sake. He saw any means that might rid her of her nightmares at any cost. Well, hmm. look who it is! <laughs> who thought I'd see you again? It is I, Grusha, the Goblin. Oh. <laughs> Ridiculously good looking, ain't I? <laughs> well, take a good look now, because I'm leaving Velia. Wow. Okay. There's no longer any Goblin threat, thanks to you. That She's woken up in low texture land, <laughs> low texture it universe. Truly does pain me. Everyone to see her suffer so. We're living in low texture. And so I've made up my mind. Like you, I too shall head out into the world to broaden my horizons. All right, Grusha. Leaving a feeble scout, and someday returning a knight. Oh, okay. To watch over her ladyship. 
<laughs> oh, okay. I have you to thank for this as well. I hope we meet again. Until then, may hope light your way through the toughest of times. Okay, and I've never seen that before. That was co that was pretty cool. That was that was one of the better outcomes. That's all I'm gonna say. Halt! There will be an inspection. <laughs> Just playing with you. It's a joke. Okay. I'm Kirkley, affiliated with Hydel. Pleasure to meet you. Um, yeah, the normal quest line. We're gonna continue the normal quest line. Normal quest line. Now that we resume trade with Velia, Heidel's roads are busier than ever. Are you headed to Serendia? May I ask the purpose of your visit? No. Why? Why don't he tell you that? Ah, I recognize the Doman God Seal. Please head over to the Northern Guard Camp. Oh, and oh, I missed that last part. We just be cruising. <laughs> <laughs> this is a right mess. Gods above. What's to be done? My little girl was gonna be worried sick. Oof. First it was those damn goblins, and now imps are running about with pickaxes. Oh, for the love of... Oh, oh an adventurer. You couldn't have come at a better time. If it's not too much trouble, could you gather some logs to fix my wagon? Thieves will pick my wagon clean of wares if I leave it unattended. Please say you help me. Promise I'll return a favor. I'm sure my daughter's already worried sick about her old man. The quicker I can return home, the better. Uh, let's get this man some logs. Where are these logs? Oh, we're actually going to cut trees. Okay, yeah. Okay, we got the log. Yeah, there you go. This should be more than enough. I'll get it fixed up quick and head on home. You're headed to Idle, right? I'd keep an eye out for imps coming from the mines if I were you. Oh, you yeah. think that hero taking down Red Nose and Geard would set things straight? <laughs> There's always something, isn't there? I heard the Northern Guard camp is iron sword arms. You need a job. I'd reckon that's your best bet. You would certainly be a welcome sight. Ventures of your caliber are hard to come by. I'm not sure I want to work at a mining facility. I'm not too sure about that. What are you doing up there? <laughs> of all the elite soldiers of Greater Serendi are gone? Did they really just give us all the greenhorns? Here of all places. Hey, you good for nothing life! Call yourself soldiers when you can't even handle a few imps with pickaxes! Ah, you must be the guest Lady Jarrett spoke of. Here's your pass. I will allow you entry into Heidel. <sighs> Someday they'll send me some real fighters. Can't very well make a slug into a soldier now, can I? A slug into a soldier. Rough. Ouch. As you can see, it's a bloody mess. Damn those imps. They used to be peaceful, obedient workers. Since we struck black stone in the mines, they've gone completely mad. Sweet fruits of our labor turned to ash in our mouths, as they say. Those in power, knowingly or not, constantly demanded more from our mind. For our protection, they dispatched nothing but these unseasoned whelps. <laughs> <laughs> You're Lady Jarrett's guest, so I'd rather you stay safe. Best not keep her ladyship waiting if you can help it. Why, Elion's my... Could that be? The one who toppled Red Nose and Gia? The saviour of Cron Castle? The breaker of chains? Oh, you do breaker of chains. the Ugh. rumors. You're exactly as they say. Wow! Can I shake your hand? It's such an honor. Wow, think that fabled adventurer would be before us. <sighs> I hate to ask this of a hero, but... We could really use your help before you go. For the one who felled the Phantom Knight in a single blow, that should be a mere walk of the park. Help us put our troubles in the mind to rest, would you? These greenhorn will drive me to an early grave. The imps don't get me first. Hmm, hear their side of the story? We can either show them their place or negotiate. Now we're gonna smash them. The imps are practically brothers to us. We can't betray those we worked alongside for so long, can we? Felt like I waited forever and a day for you to return. How did your venture fare? Done as you asked. Ah, so they weren't just baseless rumors after all. Your skills are indeed as formidable as they say. <laughs> ah, right. I'll get that letter pen right away. Uh, got any paper on you? Camp's fresh out. <laughs> paper? Ooh. 
Oh, the, the Duke of Serendia's seal. Hi, Elion, you're full of surprises, aren't you? Let's see. Right, I'll just emphasize this bit here. And a little bit Oh, yes, I'll make sure I remember that, yes. Hmm, <laughs> scroll, uh, Yes, that should do it. Here you go. If you meet Lady Jarette and the Grand Chamberlain, be sure to let them know old Jemkus has the North well under control. Okay. Of course, it'll add weight to your achievements, no doubt. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Farewell, then. It's a pleasure to see you again. I never had the opportunity to thank you for your heroic deeds in Balanos. It's old Alustan again. I heard you <clears> resolved <throat> many troubles in Balanos while I was away. My daughter extends her deepest thanks. She often felt overshadowed by her sister, yet now her letters are bursting with a newfound confidence. Ah, there's something I wanted to show you. I've been comparing the observational notes sent by Eileen. Recently, with the mining of black stones from the nearby quarry, creatures contaminated by the black stones had begun appearing. So you're Eden's walking relic. I'm Yaz. Wanna Ooh. be friends? Never been friends with a relic before. What a child. Living or otherwise. Yes, we promise to mind our manners to outsiders. I am being nice to side. I've got a feeling we'll see each other a lot more. I am being nice. Besides, I've got a feeling... All the pumpkins here have transformed. Don't get too close. This doesn't bode well. The widespread appearance of these things seems to coincide with the incident at the stone chamber. Hmm. Huh? Is it saying it something? Uh -huh. Yes. It said, Super cool. Fill our wish. Also, our blood red lord lies buried here. Blood red? <sighs> Master? Huh? A symbol of Hexa. Could it be Belmoon? Creator of the Shadow Knights. Huh? A name I've not heard in a long time. Belmoon. These events are connected to Belmoon, the king of ancient Hexa. The Knights of Dawn defeated the king of Hexa and the evil god Kazaka 150 years ago, didn't they? That ancient kingdom lies in ruin leagues from here. Why would something of Hexa be here in Serendia? I agree. We should not take this lightly. I shall consult Freyro in Glish. I'll rendezvous with our society contact, then make my way to Coronda Ridge. Make certain you do, or you're the only one who can verify the power of the relic. Eden, don't underestimate the dangers of Coronda Ridge. Make sure you bring Yaz along to protect you. You'll protect each other. Yaz, honestly, is that necessary? I'd rather fight Belmorn alone, blindfolded <laughs> even. Huh? What? Who needs protecting? I don't want to fight Belmorn. I'll just go with you, Orwin. Oh. Hey, Orwin! Where are you going? Wait for me! So, adventurer, Rough. what is it that brings you all the way to Serendia? Just chillin'. Ah, the golden lion of Serendia. He's not someone you should overlook. I sense a peculiar energy here, not unlike your black spirit. Please tread with caution, still somehow different. I trust you to take care of yourself, but never let the black spirit take over. Right. I don't trust that guy anyway. Don't listen to the old man. Yeah, whatever black spirit. You see a suspicious man in a black robe. He's meeting with someone. Hide around the tree, take a closer look. Hey, look at that man in the black robe. He's giving that person something. Could it be a black stone? Nah, I'd be able to smell it, but I'm still curious. Look, off he goes. Let's let curiosity kill our cat or whatever. After him. Belmore, monarch of darkness and founder of the Shadow Knights. Impeccable timing. Right after the incident at the stone chamber. That mustache. Yes, there's likely some connection. But I can't say for certain. Right now, finding a solution takes precedence over pinpointing the cause. I don't disagree. So, Master Elustin has gone to meet with Freyro. Indeed. Meanwhile, I'm headed to Coronda Ridge. Hmm, uh, um. <sighs> you only bread. Please look after Yaz. Martha! Fluffy! Hey! That's so I'm stuck bread. with her. I'd rather head to Calpheon. Or even fight Belmore myself. <laughs> funny. That's exactly what Eden said. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Look, why don't we just switch missions and... Huh? Who are you? 
What do you want? Ah, we meet again. Alice, this is the adventure I spoke of. Now I really must get going. Bye. Hold on. Uh, there she goes. So, you know, Orwin, heard a bit about you. Why did you ask? Oh, you're searching for a man in black robes. Not me, I'm afraid. Just a similar fashion sense, I suppose. Still wary of me. Not sure how I can put your mind at ease. Would you like me to turn out my pockets? I know. See? Nothing. Not even enough coin to buy something as expensive as a black stone. That reminds me. Since you're acquainted with Orwin, you must know her shy friend as well. Right? Yes. On the off chance you're good with children, I'll happily pay... Hey! Where are you going? I didn't even tell you how much I'll pay! Oh, I guess he was gonna pay us to watch her. I don't wanna watch that kid. You stay and you do it. I thought it was something completely different. I hope, I hope they brought our horse. Wow, cool. That's new. Jurette and S S what the? Though I did expect you much sooner. As today's a special day, I will let it pass. Adventurer, your timing couldn't have been better. It's starting soon. Such a rare occurrence, you should count yourself lucky that you'll be present for it. Come now, I do not wish to miss a single moment of him. Of him. The royal inspection. A grand opportunity to feast your eyes upon my dearest Jordine's radiant countenance. Now don't give me that look. I know you've no such spectacles of grandeur at a backwater cesspool like Velia. Of course, he is my betrothed after all. He is also one of the country's highest officials. If I pulled him away from his duty every time I wished to see him, the nation of Serendia would all but collapse from his absence. Okay, spicy lady. We must be responsible with the lives he and I will one day rule over together. Now let's get going, Adventurer. Do hurry, will you? Your memory loss is no excuse to make a lady like myself lead the way. Now go on. Jurette is chilling out in Heidel. I guess she wants us to go and stand witness to some sort of inspection. I guess she wants us to go and stand witness to some sort of inspection with her. And we are definitely going to go do that. But we're going to do it in the next episode. So thank you guys for joining this one. I hope you guys have been enjoying these like I am. And the new rewritten storyline is pretty good. I like it. It's uh, a great addition to an already good game. And I'm excited to see you know where it's going to go. Especially with Jordan. Um, and we also got the new zone coming. So hope you guys will stay tuned and I have been Blaine Blast. We'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, Blaine Blast here. Thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate that. I couldn't even tell you how much it means. I hope you guys got even a little bit of enjoyment out of this one and I hope to see you in the next one. Blaine Blast out.